is recording. Okay, that's wonderful. Happy New Year. My name is Dr. McPherson of the Caledonia University Neurologic Technology Department. First of all, I would like to admit that I may have imbibed a few too many whiskies last night as we uh, had some Hogmanay celebrations here in the lab. The good news is, in my inebriated state, I struck upon a new idea for an experiment. Now, I shall be referring to these notes that I wrote last night. I was planning on compiling them into a proper written report. As I said, I was planning on uh, putting together my notes into a, a proper package of uh, reports. However, my esteemed colleague, Dr. Kumamoto of the Tokushima Institute of Technology and Science, well, he convinced me to try out this new, um, a brand new prototype video cassette camera. This incredible contraption employs the latest cutting edge Japanese technology and has been in development for several years. It is not yet publicly available. By the time this device is ready for the market, Dr. Kumamoto tells me that it will be compact enough to fit inside a suitcase with a battery life exceeding 30 minutes. That's remarkable. I will therefore be using this device for uh, our experiment today. So, I had a thought last night when I was somewhat pushed that maybe after years of experiments attempting to calm the brain using technology and pharmaceuticals. But maybe we should try going in the opposite direction. Without medicine, without fancy technology. Therefore, we will be attempting a new experiment which I am calling Analog Sensory Mind Relaxation 01A. So what is Analog Sensory Mind Relaxation? So, what is an so what is analog sensory mind relaxation? The idea is we uh, want to avoid using electrodes and medicines in order to combat the upward trend stress and anxiety which is becoming extremely prevalent throughout various societies. The ever increasing workloads and demands placed upon workers across the globe are of 
course, having a detrimental effect on one's uh, mental health and their life balance. Many researchers predict that as soon as 1989, most people will have a fax machine in their house. This, of course, could lead and likely will lead to the unfortunate possibility where the workplace, the door of the workplace, will no longer be the boundary between work and personal life or home life relaxation. Managers and colleagues will now be able to instantly transmit paperwork and data to a person's home, thereby creating an er a disappearance of the boundary between work and home. This will be a problem. It is therefore essential that we develop new ways to calm the mind and to remain as relaxed as possible. I am going to experiment with a variety of relaxation trigger words as well as an object based trick. First of all, I will attempt to calm your mind by asking you to focus your hearing as I whisper a series of short sentences using the stereophonic microphone. This section is titled Basic Analog Whisper Science 01A-1 Begin now Dark and deserted Dark and deserted Focus and flourish. 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 
spacious and glorious, gracious and glorious, gracious and glorious, gracious. This ends 01A-1. Now, now, I will attempt to induce further relaxation in you, the viewer, using a resting bell, also known as a gong ball, which I recently acquired on a trip to Tibet. This section is titled Timed Wavering Analog Trigger This concludes section 01A-2. This concludes experiment 01A. If you are feeling sufficiently relaxed due to any of the triggers contained in this recording, we can likely call this experiment a success. But of course it will need to be replicated in a proper scientific setting with all the appropriate uh, controls and uh, measurements can take place. If successful, I envision within the next 10 years a 
society where the regular person will be able to obtain access to an entire library of recordings on cassette tapes, uh, which you could get from your local library, perhaps. You would borrow an analog sensory mind relaxation cassette tape uh, for a night or two and then return it for a small fee. Depending on demand, it may even be necessary to devote entire libraries just for this single purpose. If you are watching this recording and you are not feeling sufficiently relaxed, then it is possible that the experiment has unfortunately failed. in which case more research should continue to be done in the future anyway. Thank you for your attention and